All right, on to part six. Again, I apologize for being absent over the last few months. Had a lot going on. Life gets in the way. Glad to be back on YouTube, and uh, we're, we're going to finish up this series. Part six. Well, in the last part, part five, we uh, I showed you the stitching and gluing this together and somewhat forming it a little bit. I went ahead and finished up the stitching, and I also cut the belt slot with the chisel. I believe it was part two or three. I showed you how to do that here, so I'm not going to rehash. I wasn't going to rehash that. If you want to know how to do that, go back to the other parts. We're going to be on to wet forming the holster now. So let me put this aside for now. What you need now is a little bit of blue tape. Your unloaded gun. Again, if you're not using a blue gun, you're using a real gun, make sure this is unloaded. Now before we can wet form this, we want to make sure, what we want to do is create a sight channel down the front so the sight doesn't rub on the leather. We want to have a little channel here. It's not good for the sight, you don't want to wear out the leather eventually, so what I've done <clears throat> is I've taken a pencil, hope you can see that, I grooved that out To fit over the top of the, the front sight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it on and then I'm going to wrap the gun in plastic because we are going to have it in a wet holster. So I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm going to do that off camera and we'll be right back. All right, have the gun all wrapped up in cellophane with the piece for the sight channel on there. Now if you feel comfortable with just putting your gun in the wet holster and you know, rubbing it down with, you know, tearing it apart, rubbing it down with oil. Afterwards, you can do that. I'm just extra little bit of precaution. It's going to be in there for a couple minutes, so I just, it's easy to wrap it with cellophane when you're done. Just take it off and you don't have to worry about it, so. What I have here is a little bowl with some warm or hot sudsy, soapy water, a little dish detergent. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the holster and we're just going to set it in there. I just move it around a little bit, make sure it gets on the inside as well. And then we're going to let it sit in there for anywhere three to five minutes. Now, or so. some of the tools that I'm going to use, you can use a multi multitude of different things to actually help form the leather to the gun. I'm just using some household items, basically. Deer antler, nice and smooth, good for forming. I just took a paint stick, sanded it down really nice, and kind of beveled the edge. Not so it's sharp, but just enough to make lines if I have to. Small popsicle sticks. I picked this piece up at Publix. It's got a little round, round flat end to it. And I used the top of this big old marker to get into the inside the trigger guard and I'll show you that when we go to form it. Some people even use spoons. So they do make things called uh, bone folders strictly made for leather working. I don't have one I just find that these tools work just as well. Anything that doesn't have a sharp end that's a little bit blunt you don't want to cut or scratch into the leather because once you make uh, you know once you put it in the water it becomes very soft. If you if you mar the leather it's it's hard to get that back out. We have the holster out of the water now. I left it in there for about five minutes. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take the gun and we're going to just maneuver it in there. Now that the, the leather's wet, it'll be a little more pliable. Now that I have the back pretty much where I want it, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to start on the front. Normally what I do is I start with the, around the trigger, inside the trigger guard and around the trigger guard and then go to the side channel. I'll put, face it towards you so it looks like a holster. Um, some guys get really detailed in here. They'll actually scribe lines that are on the gun. I don't do that as long as the retention as long as I, you know, detail it enough where the retention for the gun 
is good enough and it's just the outline of the gun, that's fine for me. You can get as crazy as you want. When you're doing the trigger inside the trigger guard on the front and the back, just be careful, don't go crazy because that's where 90% of your attention is going to come from this area. So you can get you can go pretty well on it, but you know you don't want to go too much because you won't be able to pull the gun, draw the gun, and reholster it easy. So I start with my fingers and I start to work the inside of the trigger guard. And then I start on the outside of it. And I start to form. And once it starts to take shape, I'll take the top of the, the marker. As long as there's no jagged edges, you'll be all right. Again, because the leather's soft, if you have something that's jagged edges, you'll cut into this leather because it's very, very pliable. So be very careful with that. And then I just start to go around and start forming. You can start seeing it take shape. Alright, so what you can do now is you can set this in front of a fan, let it dry overnight, or just set it aside and let it air dry. What I do is I put it in the oven, set on 100, my, the lowest setting my oven will go is 170. I'll set it on 170 and I'll crack the door about 2 inches so it lets some of the heat out. I put it in there for 35-40 minutes just to kind of shock it and it actually it tightens all the fibers back up in the leather and it makes it very stiff. So that's what I do. It's basically called like force drying. I do that for about 35-40 minutes and then I'll hang it from a shelf in a nice ventilated area and let it dry overnight. So that's about it for this installment guys for this part. We'll be back with part 7 to uh, sand the edges, burnish them one more time, paint them, put the final coats of sealer and uh, we'll pretty much be done. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are good out there and be safe.